Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of day 14 on the Appalachian Trail. Just broke camp, and we're heading out for the day. Now let's see if we can check this view out real quick. A little hazy out there. But all in all, good morning. There we go, lighten up. Uh, got mostly downhill today. We are on the backside heading out of the Smokies. Not sure if we're actually gonna get out today or get out tomorrow, but we are on the downside. That's the positive. So trail conditions are decent. So let's uh let's share the trail with you this morning. Had a fairly decent night's sleep in the shelter last night and it was the first night that I had to stay in a shelter in the Smokies because there was nowhere for me to put my tent. All the spots were taken and there was absolutely nothing else so it wasn't bad. Pretty decent night's sleep. Only a few people grumbled about the snoring but that's uncontrollable. Can't do nothing about it. Body's feeling good, knees are feeling good, legs are feeling good. My heels are a little tender, but I think that's a lot to do with this shale rock currently. Some of it's been bad in sp spots, walking on the straight edges of the shale rock, but they're doing okay this morning, so we'll see how the day progresses. All right, we'll catch up with you down the trail, pushing north. Let's go for a little walk in the Great Smoky Mountains. I'll do a shout out to Early Riser 71. If you guys don't know who he is, go check his YouTube channel out. He threw hiked back in I want to say 17 or 18, and this is for him. The only thing he liked more than flat was a whole lot of flat. And I've got downhill flat today. And it's nice. This looks like the Sherwood Forest from Robin Hood. It's crazy. And yes, we still have ice on the ground. Even without the views, this might be the most beautiful morning yet here in the Smokies. Whew. Sitting back and enjoying life from the balcony. All right, let's push on. Push it north. And just like that, the views return. See if we can pinch in on that little town down there. There we go. Little sleepy town this morning.
So let me turn around real quick. We just came down the trail there to this opening right here. And there are these stones here. And according to gut hooks, this is called helicopter pad, which makes sense because it's a nice, it's a decent open little clearing here to land a search and rescue helicopter if need be. But man, that view again. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Right there on the side of the trail, just the parts of a triangle. They probably need to come cut some of this thicket back, but. And then right there's the trail pushing north. And that's the view to the east. Still early morning and the sun's still coming up. So I do believe this here is part of the plane crash. I'm hoping that we might be able to come across a little more just to experience, see it. But there was an old Cessna plane crash up here many years ago and this is what's left of the wreckage. But we'll head down the trail, see if we can uh, see some more of it. And yet, here's another absolutely beautiful view. It has come out of nowhere. You're in the forest, you're in the forest forever. And then bam, right in the face, look at that view. Making sure you don't forget how beautiful it is. And of course, another beautiful view. Let's see if we can punch in down there. That's not coming out. Well, let's take you for a walk with me. It should be under a mile to the camp, so. That's the white blaze we're following. Still following the blaze, pushing north. Another one right there. Alrighty, here we are coming into Cosby Knob Shelter. Let's see if that, we can make that out. It's kind of hard to read. But it says Cosby Knob Shelter. And then the AT is left. And that's where we'll be pushing out. All right, let's go down here and check this out. All right, what do we got back there? Oh, that's the privy back there. And here's the shelter. How's it going? Pretty good. Let's see what we got here. It's not a bad. Actually, this shelter is nicer than the one last night. <laughs> and the water is cool. right there, and you don't have to walk. Oh, it. perfect. All right, well, let's find a place to set up for right now. Hey, so we decided to just stop for lunch at uh, Cosby Knob Shelter. Cameled up, filled all the water up, and we're pushing on. I'm gonna go for a big day today. Don't know if it's the right decision or the wrong decision. We'll see. But it's gonna be 14 plus miles. 
to Davenport Gap. But check this view out over my left shoulder here that we're walking with. We're that close to being out of the Smokies, you can start to see all the towns or the matrix again that's out there. Little, little farm towns and a little city off to the uh, Tennessee side. But uh, we're getting ready to come up upon the turnoff to the Mount Cameron Lookout Tower. And uh, it's a .6 off trail. So that makes it a 1.2 round out bonus miles on top of the 14 plus today. All right, everybody. Well, we uh, passed up, I passed up Mount Cameron. Uh, nobody in Blue Bear went on and checked it out. I just didn't have the 1.2 in me. We decided we're gonna push on out. We're gonna get out of Smokies today. So it's gonna be a big day, but like typical fashion of the Great Smokies, she still provides those views. Here's another one. Heading north, she's just saying goodbye. Holy moly. Man. Gorgeous. I'm gonna try and capture as much as I can, but we're pushing. All right, we'll get back to you as we get down the trail. Well, all right, everybody. So, six and a half days. Oh, hang on one sec. Six and a half days later, 70 something miles of the Great Smoky Mountains, and we have come to the northern side to deposit our permits in the black box. And there it is, AT through hikers. This is on the northern side. So let me go ahead and get a, get my permit out and get it dropped off. All right, let's date this permit. So we're legal. That was us. Let's shove it in there. That was it. Smokies are done. Pushing north. All right, good evening everybody and welcome to end of the day wrap up. We have officially pushed out of the Smokies, pushed on a little over a mile past that and came to this nice stream, little creek river down here. It's a uh, Cascades and tenting site. So while uh, we're out of the Smokies and we're tenting up and gonna call it a night. It's been a long day. So let's get you turned around, show you the book, and show you the mileage for the day. Here we go. All right, so you know we started the day right there at 223.4 Tri-Corner Knob Shelters, where we started our day out. And we climbed up. And then we pretty much had a descent all day long, climbing down and out. One small, one, one long climb right into Cosby Knob. That's where we stopped and had a quick lunch. Regrouped, decided to go ahead and push on out. And then we had a climb after that, and then it was a long downhill all the way. Right there is the Mount Cameron Trail where we stopped. And uh, nobody in Blue Bear, they went out and checked it out. I did not. I just stretched out so I could get this day on. And then that descent from there on out was four, five miles to get us down and out. And stopped and took a quick picture of the sign there at Davenport Gap Shelter. And then you saw us dropping our permits off right there at 239.1, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, black box for through hikers. And then we kept going, so let's turn that page. And right there, as we turn the page, sitting at mile marker 240.2, state line branch with multiple crossings, is the stream right behind us. For a grand total, biggest day yet, 16.8. And I'm wore out. And our elevation is 1698 tonight, so we're sleeping pretty low. Nice and nice and warm tonight. So that's all I've got. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet so I can get as much footage from the day in the day's video. But uh, like always, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys being here, and we'll see you in the morning. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>